Hello everyone, it's another tip of the week. In landscape painting, the clouds usually is a common element and uh, um, we really love clouds in our um, painting. However, in watercolor, it's a very different uh, if you compare to oil or aquatic or any other medium. We cannot really paint clouds per se, especially when the clouds are white, because we heavily rely on the white paper to be white. So the more you paint the clouds, the less white clouds you're going to get. You pretty much, you know, get um, colors in there, but uh, the white part of the clouds will disappear. So what do you do? So today I'm going to show you how I usually approach this is pretty much I would paint the sky instead of painting the clouds. Uh, in other words, you, you know, you could use negative painting in this way. Another thing about watercolor is if you insist you wanted to copy the photo and make the clouds exactly look like your photo, your clouds will look really stiff or sometimes it just doesn't really look like soft clouds that's moving. So it's best in watercolor if we utilize what the watercolor character is and take the spontaneous uh, into account and the paint as the watercolor wants to paint. So let me show you how I'm going to uh, go about painting some white clouds like the one in the reference photo. So as I said before, um, I'm going to paint the landscape that was uh, some white clouds in there. Uh, however, I'm not going to copy the reference photo. I'm just using the reference photo as a reference. So here's my basic drawing and I just uh, take this part as the overhaul sky, I will paint a portion of the sky and I will leave the rest as um, how it, it's going to go uh, by the watercolor itself. So what I um, wanted to do the first is of course get some um, blues. So let's say uh, here is a California sunny sky. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the sky and leave some uh, rough texture for the clouds and roughly somehow by my own design and follow the part as uh, the ones that's pretty much uh, in the for the reference so paint the sky and I'm not going to insist uh, what the clouds will look like. And portion of the clouds are, uh, I guess, it's very thin, so you can see through and see the blue skies. So that's what I'm pulling uh, to get a portion of that. And a portion of this I deliberately did, uh, you leaving some white, so that will have either sharp hard edge or mainly rough edges and the rest will be uh, the soft. So you see painting the sky actually is quite easy if you let the watercolor paint itself. It's a soft um, and I'm carrying a little bit into here when the paper now is already wet. I don't want it to paint exactly blue everywhere. That will make it things uh, very boring though sometimes it the sky can be just like that so you see pretty much i haven't painting much but it's already that's the blue sky so what i'm actually doing is i'm doing a little bit of those uh breaking up clouds more like uh, the uh california coast okay so i'm down here I'm giving to giving a little bit of warmth to the bottom um, instead of just blue. No, in the photo, it says everything is blue. Um, 
That's why uh, the human being's eyes, when we observe it, we see a lot more than the camera does. So don't copy your uh, photo. It's not that, the camera is not that great. Okay, so now here's a completely white clouds. Uh, here's something coming. I want to break these so it doesn't equal. And here are more soft blues. And the rest is whatever the paper and the water is doing at the moment. So the sky is pretty much done in this way. Uh, you have white clouds and uh, um, you uh, have the softness that the white clouds that's breaking up. Uh, and in the distance, it's a little bit of like a smaller clouds group. So that's how I approach uh, sky. The sky is such that you paint a lot more. It look, it doesn't look like a sky at all. Okay, so if you paint less and let it go by itself, it actually uh, forms much better, um, much better sky by itself. So that's the beauty of. Um, Watercolor. Imagine you paint this. So I paint oil and others in the past. Imagine you have to paint um, oils. You have to paint all these whites by yourself, one brush stroke by another to cover the entire sky to create uh, the white clouds. But here, we just the water is our great help. It just does this uh, for us, and so that's pretty much done. So afterwards, I'm going to um, uh, paint the rest and I'm going to post this one, the finished piece at the end of uh, this video. And hopefully we'll try this at home and just remember let watercolor does its own thing. I usually don't go back and uh, uh, correct anything at this time. So the the more you touch it, um, the uh, less fresh it's going to get and it will look pretty strange. So hopefully this is helpful and that you can try out and find your own way of painting white clouds. Thanks for watching.